What's up guys? Welcome to another Catch and Cook video. My name is Stanley Orchard. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. If you're watching a cooking video, a uh, Catch and Cook video like this one right here, then you have probably seen about 10 million people cooking up their redfish and their trout and all of the other fun stuff that they've caught throughout the day. I wanted to have a little bit of fun with this. Of course I do the exact same thing, but to kind of change it up a little bit today, I'm going to be cooking my bait, the menhaden that we caught in the uh, bay fishing video the other day with my brother and my dad. If you want to take a look at it, that little card is going to be right about here somewhere if I can figure out how to do that. I'm going to be brining and smoking my bait today. I've got my wife and daughter off camera making fun of me because I've done about 15 takes on this so far, so they're giggling and trying to be quiet. <laughs> Unfortunately, what they don't know is that they are going to be the taste testers on this whole thing to tell me how good my bait tastes. We've got a big bag of frozen bait for you right there. We're going to thaw that thing out, and then I'm going to take you guys through the brining process. And I'll leave a list of ingredients and all that stuff in the description below so that you guys, if you want to take a shot at it, it's going to be a really easy recipe. If you like what you see, please take a moment. We do appreciate any comments that you happen to leave down below. I'm happy to answer those as fast as possible. If you have any questions, if you want to take a shot at it yourself, or if you think that I'm not doing quite as good on camera and you think that Rachel is the one that needs to be out here helping me, feel free to leave that comment because she did a fantastic job in our Catch and Cook Tile Fish video. That little card is going to be right here as well if I can get that to work. A like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think because I'd love to know what I need to do to improve my videos. And let's get to the cooking. in our bait overnight it's been about 14 hours the longer you brine it the more of that flavor you're gonna get now what I'm doing right now while we're getting ready things I like to do first is take an onion and wipe down my uh, grill with an onion and the onion acts as a uh, kind of like having grease on the grill so that the fillets don't stick to it I thought you know what's gonna go good with that brown sugar is apple wood so I'm using apple wood today to smoke all this. All right, we got that fire going. Time to get the fish going. I'll edit that out. Now, Menhaden, what we call them down here, they're also called Porgy or Bunker. It's uh, real oily, real high in omega-3. Because they're such a small fish, you don't really see people, they don't cook these. They do grind them up and use them to make fish oil. They also grind them up to make fertilizer. But the meat is, it's, it's actually not bad. It's pretty good eating meat. It's kind of white. Um, just for the record, I'm also going to do some trout that we caught the other day on that fishing trip. That way we can compare the two. Oh, a fun little side thing on cooking bait like this. They're small fillets, which means they're going to cook a lot faster. Now, normally when you smoke something, you smoke it for like 6, 12 hours, something like that. These guys will be done in an hour, maybe two. Now I don't do a whole lot of smoking, I do it, but I'm not refined, I'm not uh, practiced at it. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I should be doing different here, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know, I'd love to know your thoughts on the subject. And there we have it, everybody's all laid out and ready to go. Fire's still looking a little bit hot, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that down a little bit, try to take out some of the air and start getting the smoke. 
Yeah, we will be back and checking on it in about 20 minutes. been about 20 minutes Let's see what we're looking at and as you can see everything's shaping up pretty good it's got a little bit of color to it temperature didn't get too high you can tell not a whole lot of burnt edges and stuff on our fillets so we're looking good right now we'll close her up keep going all right guys we've got it all finished up now we're done cooking I'm about to peel them off the grill right now let's take a look see how they turned out All right, guys, we've gotten to the point in the video where we are finished cooking our bait from the other day, and now it's time to test it and see how it turned out. But I'm not going to do it the way that I told you I was going to do it earlier in the video, and the reason being is because I tasted some of it off camera, and I am not going to put my daughter and my wife through that. It came out bad. It was a bad recipe. I'm going to go over some of that in just a minute, but... Since you guys are at this point in the video, you made it all the way through, and you're like, man, this guy just made some bad stuff, made me sit through the whole thing. Well, I'm going to torture myself and give you guys what you deserve. I'm going to eat the bait. You guys get to sit there and watch me suffer through it, and then i got a couple things I want to talk about after, but before I do that, uh, let's go ahead and get with it. This is Smoked Menhaden, and this is for you guys. Thank you for watching. All right. The fact of the matter is it's really not that bad. I just made a couple of mistakes along the way. The meat from Manhattan is actually pretty good. It's got a real fish taste to it. But it's not bad. The problem with it is that it's full of bones. Now the last time I made it, I didn't have that problem with the bones. I don't know what I did wrong this time. To where the bones are such a big issue and I had a couple bites where the bones weren't an issue but then I had a couple bites where they were so in the future I will try this again because I think it can be a successful thing but it'll be a little bit before we try it so basically I think that the uh, I think the rib cage needs to be cut out and I need to try to find a way of actually getting the bones off of that fillet to make it a more successful endeavor the other issue that I had is that the uh, recipe that I used for the brine mix was too much salt now it's a simple recipe so you guys saw me make it I'm telling you right now it came out kind of salty so I would uh, if you want to take a shot at this and man since it's such a simple recipe it would be very easy for you to you know fix it play with it have fun with it I would love to know your thoughts on what I can do to make it better I'll take another shot at it but I would take the salt content down I would probably put more brown sugar so it really didn't taste that too much maybe double the amount of brown sugar and cut the amount of salt in half. That salt with that fish flavor came out tasting like sardines with a whole lot of bones, like you know. So yeah, that wasn't great. Um, that having been said, the trout also a little salty. Again, it was just too heavy on the salt. But man, the trout came out tasting really good. So you can cook fish like this all day long. I will figure out the issue with the bones on the menhaden. We'll see if we can't figure that out, and I'll come up with a better recipe to show you guys in the future. And that's about it, man. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, I really appreciate you guys' time and sitting through this whole video. And I guess I got I, I've been eating the trout here, but I will take one more shot of the uh, the menhaden just for you guys, just for suffering through to the end. Hey, leave a like in the comment or leave a dislike or whatever it is you want to do. But cheers to you guys. Thank you for watching.